Hey everybody, Pastor Ben here with a Taking Ground update. We're going to start bringing these to you every month. I'm here at the offices for the church. And hey, Chris, what's what's going on? What are you doing? Hey, baby. I'm just loading up more chairs. More chairs? Yeah. What, what do you mean by more chairs? Well, I mean, have you seen this? There's 150 Whoa. more chairs in here. 150 more chairs? Where are these going to go? Well, at Heritage, we're out of room now, so we got to add 150 chairs. Wow, so you heard that right. We are one year now, one year into our time at Heritage Middle School, and starting this Sunday, we're going to be setting up 150 more chairs each service. So that's room for 300 more people every week as we gather to worship God. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. But could you imagine what we could do if we had our own building? Ooh, yeah, our own building would be nice. Speaking of which, we want to tell you a little bit more about what's been going on with Taking Ground in We are so excited about the opportunities we have to expand at Heritage Middle School, but obviously we are still working hard to find a full-time, long-term facility for our church. And spearheading those efforts for us and with our team is Chris Hernandez, our business administrator for our church. Chris, what has gone on specifically in our search in 2023? Yeah, well, in 2023, uh, we have actually identified two different properties that we felt could work for our church. So we made offers on both of those properties. Uh, obviously nothing happened on either of those, otherwise you guys would have heard the news about that. But when you pair that with the two properties we thought would work uh, that we made offers on last year, we've actually found four different properties that we think could work for our church and we're still waiting. Right, now why are we still waiting? I mean, doesn't isn't this a simple process? They have land, we pay them money, we get the land, we build a church. It seems like sometimes it feels slow or, or complicated. Why is that? Yeah, I mean, that's a great point. The uh, complexities here in the Valley just continue to add year over year as more people are moving here. Development, uh, infrastructure, roads that are either widening, roads that need to be paved, uh, roundabouts, traffic lights, all those things uh, really will affect what we can do as a church. And, and actually there's a couple of properties that are on Chinden out here that we were placing off or going to place an offer on and those sellers were negotiating with ITD, and so it didn't really work out for us at that time. Another issue is utilities, where sometimes even if an offer would have been accepted, we still would have had to go through a lot of due diligence. It wouldn't have been a for sure thing right away. There would have been studies needing to be done, particularly things like sewage and water. How close is the city? Because depending on where a piece of land is, it could be one year until utilities are there, or it could be a decade. And that obviously makes a big difference for us as well. What other issues have we seen? Yeah, well, that, I mean, utilities are probably the biggest issue. Um, you know, out here on the western side of Ada County, they've got a whole master plan for when they're going to develop things. And uh, within our price range, uh, that master plan means that it's probably a decade before we could build on, on some of those properties. But uh, water table is also a huge issue out here. Being in the Boise River Valley, uh, you know, you could put a shovel in the dirt and hit water on one of the properties that we were looking at. So uh, we've got a lot of things to consider. Right. So far, all these pieces we've looked at, the offers we've put in have been between $1.2 and $2 million because that's in the ballpark of what we have in our taking ground fund. And while there may be more shovel-ready pieces of dirt out there, you know, we want to build on the dirt. We don't want to go into a lot of debt just to own a piece of dirt. But the more money we have in the taking ground fund, uh, the more aggressive we can be in going after some of these pieces of land. So that's a reminder for you to keep investing uh, above and beyond your normal giving to the church to the taking ground fund. And more than that, keep praying. Keep praying for God to open the right door at the right time and keep working. Serve the church. Let's make disciples right here. Let's be faithful with what God has given us now so that he might continue to bless us. And we'll be back with you soon with another Taking Ground update.